excerpt from Fox News. Today, we will have our president, Hopkins, and our voice interpreter, Desiree Espinoza. We will be having a recap of the last 10 years, which have been a time of monumental change for America. President Hopkins, after your first 100 days in office, do you agree with what people had said that a deaf person couldn't be president? People said a black man couldn't be president in 2008, but Barack Obama was. People said the same in 2015 when Sasha Obama became the first woman president. And she was the first president to take an interpreter to every event. She also appointed the first deaf poet laureate. Juliet Usher in 2051. People are often surprised at what is possible when America is united. Much has changed in the last 10 years. That, was way horrible. that is very true. Bilingual classrooms now exist in many cities combining ASL and English. Phone finished and start now. Red, R, E, D. Right, good. Blue, B, L, U, E. Blue, blue, right. <laughs> Green, G, R, E, E, N. Green, right. Yay! Oralism was summarily abandoned in 2052 by all education bodies, and sign was adopted as a primary language for deaf children and a secondary for most hearing. This idea of education for the deaf was replaced and eliminated of, with the idea of education for all. In 2053, America adopted the process of funding, making colleges free for all high school graduates. We have made strides through education to eliminate bullying and isolation in school. Additionally, 25 states now have deaf colleges. And the changes in technology? Technology has followed behind culture. Verizon introduced the first hologram calls in 2054. The democratization of information has continued, and now people all over the world have basic internet access, a process that began in 2050 and completed in 2052. The United States voted to switch to solar power exclusively in 2051, making greater projects like worldwide internet possible. Daniel Hamstrong, the first deaf, first deaf astronaut, walked on the moon in 2055 and discovered huge amounts of deuterium, which then replaced gasoline as a fuel completely by 2059. Danielle won the Nobel Peace Prize for her discovery that same year. Representing this change in the deaf community, like yourself. 
Well, I really like that Hannah Whitestone. She's a deaf pop star. I invited her to perform at my inaugural ball earlier this year. still follows an example of American ex exceptionalism? Well, yes. In the year 2057, America proudly joined the expanded United Nations, which included all countries with equal access, as well as delegates representing people with disabilities as well as minority groups. America, yes. Russia, no. Wait one minute. Wait. In the US, people have moved towards a more tolerance and acceptance towards all people. In 2056, a constitutional amendment was adopted changing the legal definition of marriage to mean that any two consenting adults can get married. <laughs> numbers of interpreters and building special booths for them and the audience to see. The major blockbuster of 2058 was Scream 14, which grossed a recorded $41 trillion in theaters in both the hearing and deaf community. Wow, so much has th changed. Thank you, President Hopkins, for joining us today. Thank you, Katie. I will see you tonight at my State of the Union address, which is followed by the Peace Party here in DC. Peace. Thank you, President Hopkins. Time for sign with Madeline. Thank you for watching Fox News. See you next week. <laughs>